Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're finally doing gameplay with 100 overall Magic Johnson. Uh, Magic has been out since Friday, but I literally had not seen him be pulled until like a day ago. Finally got an account with Magic to do gameplay, and um, I'm excited to try the card out. I do believe he's probably the best point guard in the game. It's six foot nine, perfect animations, 100 overall, all that type of stuff. He's going to be ridiculous in a lot of ways. Interested to see how good his release is. It's on very quick. It's his own release. Ah, he'll be the best point guard in the game, I'm sure. I just interested to see how good he really is before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day tons of consistent daily my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe also massive shout out to my boy milo your boy for uh, letting me hop on his account to record this gameplay really appreciate that a lot as well without further ado magic six foot nine at the point guard spot 99 offense and defense of course 99 stats across the board also of course pretty much perfect stats badge wise also i mean he's not far from being perfect uh 50 hoffs include well pretty close to everything that you want when you look at the gold badges or any of them really important golds i mean he's got half a movable enforcer speed booster everything well he's got half everything really um badges on gold like i guess rise up green machine guard up brick wall Three points open looks. If you're trying to nitpick, there are badges that aren't on Hoff that I guess would be nice to have on Hoff, but in general, he is pretty darn close to perfect. Now, the thing that makes Magic, I think, truly so good uh, is obviously going to be animations and size. I think those are the main things that really elevate the card. So, six foot nine with the Francis size up, Kyrie escape, Trey escape, or sorry, Trey escape, Kyrie dribble style, and Jamal Murray behind the back. He has the best movement in the game, basically, at six foot nine. Now, what's the same side has he? Oh, he's got a bad same side. Okay, so there is one flaw, and it's the same side Hezzy. So you got to go diagonally up to trigger the same side Hezzy properly, consistently, or just burst without Hezzying at all. Release is on very quick, and honestly, it's not awful. It's just slow. You know, I mean, like, even on very quick, it's just not super fast. But it's smooth, easy to grain. Definitely going to be knocked down when he's open. I think there's going to be no issues with that. And I do want to see what his fade looks like, honestly. What fade does he have? Uh, I think it's Pro 2, uh, but his upper is really strange. So, yeah, it's definitely Pro 2, but his upper is strange. So that throws off the fade a little bit. I think his release hurts the card a bit because the animations just are not quite as smooth and quite as good because of his release slowing slowing but it slows both of his fades down and it slows release down but admittedly they're all very smooth animations and all honestly pretty easy to grain when you get the timing down on him he's six nine with insane sigs and elite level slashing ability uh again every single key badge you need he's got he's got everything you need to be the best point guard in the game i don't care that he does have the best release in the game he is the best point guard in the game and it's for sure at six nine with how good he is this is this card's gonna be borderline unfair excited to use him let's hop into a game see what magic can do all right, our opponent is Marco262 with Caruso at point guard, who is 6'5", very elite defender, has a movable enforcer. That's, I believe it or not, that's actually one of the better point guard matches we could probably get in terms of like defensive ability and ability to stop magic. At the same time, I'm not going to sit here and lie like this dude's team is very good. Compared to ours, we certainly have the better squad. And uh, this should be, I would think, a relatively easy win unless this dude's just a dog. But we're going to see what magic can do, man. Hop, step inside, and you're six foot nine. Go dunk the ball. That's exactly what I wanted. That's exactly what he did. I didn't really need to hop step, I don't think. I think I would have dunked it anyway. But we'll take that one. And magic starts us off very well. X switch the screen. Magic is one of the most switchable cars in the game he was playing that pop anyway so that was probably a steal regardless of even if that pass doesn't get through that was a horrible shot selection and i got bailed out by the foul and we are going to have a chance to take an early lead magic's free throw release is ugly and slow and i just smoked the first one horribly very early i knew it was ugly and slow and i still didn't hold it down long enough it's just log i know it's ugly but really it's just long and apparently that one i think that one might have glitched because i hold that one down a lot longer i don't know let's see if i can grain it uh or hit, get closer anyway there we go that's what i did last time okay so it just glitched the second one but regardless as long as you hold it down long he's got a super high free throw uh or super high free throw rating obviously he's not gonna miss you just gotta know that it's a long free throw good defense get through the screen at six nine he's as good defensively as you're gonna get as well because he's got all the half defensive bad is he's six nine at point guard he's one of the most switchable cards in the game card is just phenomenal in so many ways see i know he committed a foul there but i don't really care that much uh misses the first free throw so we'll take that he makes the second free throw that's okay uh let's face the floor here magic and let's go behind the back let's attack downhill um chill here drag back beautiful come here now behind the back now back this oh that's okay we'll take it i've kind of dribbled it in place a little bit too much magic the thing about magic is he's not a three hunter um despite having incredible sigs if you don't have an elite release you're just really hard to three hunt with uh generally speaking in this game so uh i don't know i think obviously at the end of the day we're looking for him as more of a rim runner than anything else uh we're gonna go pick a pop here actually and try to escape away attack downhill you are six nine and a rim runner and he gets inside but doesn't finish i smoked the release that was kind of on me but 
Ah, definitely did get inside there. Wasn't able to finish. That's all right. Good X switch. That should not be a foul. Beautiful stuff. Look who's flying over. I think that was Ron Artest, actually, but we will take that. Beautiful stuff. Pump fake. Magic. Drive. Chill. Back this way. Okay, I screwed it up. My dribble, my dribble sticks are, t are terrible. I can't dribble at all. Goodness gracious. I'm the worst. Um, hit it back out. Magic's one of the best passes in the game. I'm shooting this three ball. You did not step up on Psycho T. What are you doing? Easy three ball. We'll take that. The thing about Magic is, as good as he is, I don't know. He's just, without an elite release, for me at the point guard position, it kind of annoys me. As good, and he is insanely foot switchable defensively. Insane is a slasher, obviously, um, but he's not a 300. And to me, I want a point guard who can go, go get me a bucket. So for me personally, as good as he is, and he's amazing, don't, don't doubt it. Good fade right there. That should, oh, slightly early. It's just a slow fade. He's got such a nice, smooth fade animation. It's just slow. I got to be able to get there and, uh, and time it. Uh, and he hits a white four pointer with a guard who doesn't have limitless range. Dr. J can't get limitless range. He just made a white four pointer. I, my team, very good game, bro. Cause why is or why are we coddling the dude who has his meter on? Like, I don't know. It is what it is. Open the mid range, knock it down. Good shot, Magic. I should have hit the fade. We'll take it. It's all right. Not my best performance to start off this game, but that's a good shot for Magic there. He's got five points. Realistically, should probably have about ten between the two free throws I missed and the wide open fade that I missed. Uh, but that's okay. Can wall up here, and he makes another. Oh my goodness. All right, my team, very fun. Um, let's go pick and fade here with Miles Turner. I really should be running the pick and fade more so with Hansborough than anything else. But get to the rim, Magic Johnson. Just go straight downhill there. We gotta be a little more decisive and honestly a little cheesier. Just attack the rim of Magic. Use his size to my advantage. I'm trying to three out and be a little too fancy with him. And honestly, I haven't played the game that much, very much at all either. So I'm definitely uh, that's bad defense. Oh my gosh, I'm playing terrible. That was bad. That was really bad. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Uh, but it is what it is, I guess, right? Uh, burst away from the screen, attack downhill. Nice Francis dribble style. Get inside. Pa oh my gosh, he gets he gets that terrible pickup animation where they stumble forward for two feet and he just walks out of bounds. I, I don't know, bro. This is a really, really annoying game. I understand this dude's team isn't very good, but this is this is just frustrating because most of this stuff feels like it's kind of out of my control. Um. Uh, Back up. Let's play a stand front. He's been damn near about to get an eight seconds. Play at the back door here. We're good. X switch this. Um, we're good. We can play this. We're good. Not sure what he's doing right now. Uh, magic. Very good. Magic. Stay in front. Magic. Good job. Magic. Watch the drag back. Good D. Magic. Oh my goodness. He was hawking right there. We'll take the free throws as well. Minute 39 left. We still have plenty of time to secure this game. Magic's got seven points. It's been a fluky, annoying, ugly game so far, but we are not in a terrible position at all in terms of our ability to win the game. Uh, eight points there. Magic make the ninth point as well. Free throw is up and in very good and there we go magic with nine um just gonna need him to continue to step up defensively honestly not a bad idea to get the ball out of uh caruso's hands not not being guarded by magic you would really like to see ron artest play better defense than that on round especially with how good of a defender our test generally is pass it magic open three ball our test great light beautiful stuff love that offense right there that is really really nice really really easy bucket uh he's overplaying magic a little bit to this point and obviously magic's one of the greatest passes of all time we will we will distribute the rock no problem at all i might try to throw a lob or something as well uh help out the corner magic can swing to the corner chill we're good get back here we're good oh that's a steal oh my goodness that's a steal it's all right wall it up play the post fade play the post fade of the drop step we're good yep beautiful stuff Excellent switch the screen he got the slip slip is open and i'm not there in time good slip i actually switched the screen he slipped it really early good shot honestly um this is the one other thing you can do with magic that's cheesy by the way i haven't done it at all just use him as a screener come set me another one that wasn't a good screen so just come set me another one please and attack downhill and here we go we have a six foot nine roller and good luck my man <laughs> good luck six nine 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 standing knock off fast switch off well he doesn't have off rise up but uh, like, ooh, good luck, my man. Good luck. He's six nine. So remember, at the end of the day, he's not really doesn't need to be a primary ball handler. He's six foot nine. He can have an incredibly impactful role on both offense and defense, being just big, uh, with the ability to not be a liability in a lot of areas. I mean, he doesn't have to be your primary ball handler. Is what I'm saying. That's my ball too. Thirty seconds left. Up by three. We finally managed to kind of secure this game. And you know what? I think I'm just gonna run around him here and go get myself one more bucket. Unless he's got auto fouls on, in which case I'll just take the free throws that it's gonna eventually give me. Wrong icon. No, not wrong icon. He just threw the moon pass. I hate that moon pass, but it is what it is, I guess. Swing it to magic. Magic. Drag it back. And I just, bro. Okay. 
you're an idiot for fouling there. That was a really bad manual reach and foul by him. I was at a rough spot with 10 seconds on the shot clock standing at half court, and he fouled there. That was a really poor decision by him. And uh, Magic's down at the free throw line. Hopefully, he'll knock both of them down. Second one's a little early. It is early. I can tell I released it early. But it still went down. We're good. 80%. And uh, 16 seconds left. Just step up here. Get enough of a contest. And that's all we needed. There we go. Should be the game. Magic running it out on, on the offensive end of the court. Getting inside. Spin move. Hit to the corner. Oh, my Lord. Dot. Okay, chill. Magic backdoor. Three. He didn't backdoor. Okay, well, that's not the way we want to end the game. I was hoping he backdoor and cut or something. But whatever. We win by five. Not the prettiest game by any means. Four, seven, oh, one from three. 13 points. One rebound, one assist, one steal. He filled it up, though, despite me not playing great. The card was very impactful, very good on both ends of the court. Magic is the best point guard in the game right now, for sure. At the same time, the card doesn't exist. So does it really matter for the vast majority of people playing this game? No. But that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.